the key takeaways that I hope students would get from this trip are that they get to see uh, that uh, paleontology is, is much more than just wandering around the desert finding fossils. They get a chance to find out that maybe they're actually good at something that they didn't think was maybe in their DNA. Uh, but really what I want them to get a chance to see is just the very many different ways that uh, paleontology is done, the many different people who do paleontology, not just professionals, but volunteers from all walks of life. I try to make sure that basically everybody has a couple of weeks of solid experience under their belt. This has proven invaluable when students go to get internships because I can write a letter of recommendation that highlights the experiences they've had with me. Uh, so um, that's, you know, all of that is a big part of the trip. And there's also just a lot of maturity, bonding, peer leadership, peer teaching, and a lot of things that go with the trip and the course that, um, that they might not you know, explicitly expect but which take away um, any way you look at it. The important part of this trip is these are paleontology students who haven't really gone out that much in the field except for the occasional field trip. And this is their first for real field experience where they have to go and live outdoors and eat outdoors and keep a good attitude and uh, with the bonus of looking for fossils and hopefully finding them. So it's the supporting role is helping, helping them learn to be comfortable and uh, living and working outside, which honestly not many of them have had that experience. Mm -hmm.